Good afternoon, everybody. It is a Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. My watch says that it is 1248 in the afternoon. My phone says it is 1246 in the afternoon. Okay, this is part four of David D. Burns, MD, The Feeling Good Handbook. Preface, or preface, however you want to say it. Doctors... And Tanukio and William Danton from the University of Nevada, and Garland D. Naleski from the Cleveland Clinic Foundation recently reviewed these studies in order to answer several basic questions. The conventional wisdom holds that depression is a genetic biological disorder caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain. In addition, most people believe that drugs are the most effective treatment for depression. Are these beliefs supported by the facts? Are drugs or psychotherapy more effective in the treatment of mild or severe depression? Which type of treatment, drugs or psychotherapy, is associated with fewer relapses following recovery? What guidelines should we have for the treatment of depressed adults as well as depressed children or adolescents? These investigators published their findings in an article entitled Antidepressants versus Psychotherapy in the Treatment of Depression, Challenging the Conventional Wisdom with Data. They concluded that for depressed adults, cognitive behavior therapy is at least as good as and probably better than antidepressant drugs for severe or mild depressions. But or for depressed children and adolescents, they concluded that there is little or no convincing evidence that antidepressants are effective and that psychotherapy should be used first. Based on their analysis of long-term follow-up studies, the authors concluded that patients treated with CBT do better than patients treated with medications or other forms of psychotherapy. They remain undepressed longer and have fewer relapses following recovery. The authors also suggested that for some patients, long-term drug treatment might have negative effects. For example, New data suggests that the effects of the newer antidepressants sometimes seem to wear off after a while so that a medication that once worked no longer does. Although this does not always happen, sometimes it can leave the patient more vulnerable to relapses of depression and treatment resistance. If you would like to learn more about this and have access to the internet, you might find a recent article from New York Magazine. Interesting. You can read it at this website. HTTP backslash backslash www.newyorkmag.com backslash critics backslash view dot asp question mark. ID equals 1740. Dr. Antoniocchio and his colleagues emphasized that these findings have largely been ignored by the media and by the general public. This is because of a strong societal bias that depression is a biological and genetic disorder, and that antidepressant drugs represent the most powerful form of treatment, beliefs that are not solidly grounded in the facts. Okay, so that is all for part four of David D. Burns' The Feeling Good Handbook, preface or preface. Thank you for watching.